This home fixated interview is brought to you by homehacks.com, where you'll find the most ingenious and clever tips and tricks for around the home. And by homefail.com, where you'll find the most hilariously bad photos and videos of the world's worst construction. Hi there, everyone. It's Mark Lyman from homefixated.com. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm stepping out of the garage or out of the shop and into the office to do our first ever video interview. And I've got Chris Corrado here from Regato, and they're working on a project called Lumen Play. Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having us today. Yeah, my pleasure. So, so give us a little rundown. Tell us about Lumen Play because your PR folks reached out to me recently, and and uh, it's a little early to talk about holiday lighting, but I think we're going to break convention and do it anyway. Um, so, give us a little rundown on on Lumen Play. Sounds great. Well, Lumen Play is a string light that you can control the color or effect. You can play games, and you can also visualize music all from your smartphone device. So. Typically, you'd see our lights as Christmas lights, but they can also be used for tailgating, decks and patios, and accent lights throughout your house. Very cool. Very cool. So tell me a little bit about the backstory. How did this come to be? Because uh, you know, we have this sort of ongoing battle in our household, uh, or, or we did until last year. We've got one of these fake Christmas trees, which I'm always lobbying for the real tree. <laughs> And um, it, mainly because I just don't want a fake tree taking up space in the in the man cave. Um, and every year, you know, it's got these old incandescent bulbs on it. And every year I have to spend about an hour with an electrical meter trying to figure out which light bulb went out. And, um, you know, the big change, obviously, recently is LED lighting. Uh, and and so you guys are kind of taking LED lighting to the next level. How did this idea come about? Who came up with it and and how did it come to be? Sure. So at Regatta, we have a team of really smart engineers, and uh, about 20% of what we do is we just tinker with things around our house. We have small problems that we try to solve. And actually, my brother, one of our engineers, he uh, wanted to do a kitchen remodel and wanted accent lighting in his kitchen that he could control from his smartphone. And uh, we took that and we looked at the type of lighting people use and the pain points people have. And uh, we saw that there was a fun opportunity to do string lighting that you could use for accent lighting or mood lighting or even decorating that man cave and ch changing between uh, football and baseball season for tailgating seasons. Very cool. Very cool. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, in terms of the, the actual physical product itself, I did a little homework and I actually I did some math for your marketing department. So um, you've got a, a lifespan listed of, of 20,000 hours on the LEDs. Is that about right? That's correct. Yeah. And so I, I, I probably did the math wrong. But according to my calculations, if you if you ran them 12 hours a day for the entire month of December, um, it, the product would last over 53 years. So, got, so uh, it, it's not something that it sounds like you're going to be replacing on a on a regular basis or every season. Um, and and because it's LED, it's obviously a lot more durable than the um, the dreaded incandescent bulbs that we've had in the past, right? Yeah, one of the really cool things about it is the bulb casing. You can actually hit with a hammer. And uh, one of the biggest problems with strand lighting is you lose that light bulb or it breaks, and then you have to replace the whole strand, or you have to go digging around to find which one breaks. So right. we've actually gone as in industrial as possible to uh, make these lights indestructible. Okay. Um, the other great part about it is cost savings. So you'll actually save up to nine dollars a month uh, when you're running at twelve hours of twelve hours per day. Uh, by using these lights over your incandescent bulbs. Okay. All right. Very cool. Now, I, I noticed uh, you have sort of a tagline that says uh, um, software is, is the, the soul of your project. Um, tell us a little bit about that philosophy and, and kind of how that comes to be, uh, you know, how it shows in your product. Yeah. So what everybody gets to see is the hardware, what's on the outside. Right. And uh, whether it's in the form factor of a Christmas light or like what we have behind us is a DJ booth. Uh, that we created with the string lights and a little bit of hardware project in the garage. But what's behind all that is a smartphone application that's available for both iPhone and Android, and it does the control. So you can actually pick in real time what color you want. You can change effects where you can control your speed, your direction, uh, and also the brightness, uh, whether you're inside or outside. And then our software team has even said, why stop there? So we've implemented games. So there's a twister compatibility mode or a present selector mode. And there's also a music visualizer that the lights will pulse to the music. 
So on the outside, you might see this as a strand of Christmas lights, uh, but on the inside, you have a strand of lights that can do anything that your heart can heart can imagine. So, so are you are you hip to this uh, this family? I think it was the Cadra family in in uh, Meridian, Idaho, that did the the dubstep um, Christmas decoration every year that probably makes their neighbors totally insane. So one of the coolest things about Christmas lights is the YouTube virability of everybody putting up these Christmas displays. Right. Uh, and then the Griswolds are uh, one of our role models right now. <laughs> I, you hopefully won't uh, be shutting down any power stations with uh, with even if you go the max on all your LEDs, uh, you're not burning quite as much power as the Griswolds. I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so how is how is all this controlled? Uh, it's my understanding is that basically from uh, any type of uh, smart recent smartphone, uh, you can you can control all this. Is that accurate? Or yeah, so we have a Bluetooth low energy device that's actually in line on the first strand of lights that you put up, and that'll connect to any Bluetooth smart ready device. Okay. So your 4S, your iPhone 5. Uh, your iPad Mini and your iPad 3, as well as uh, for Android, you have the Samsung S3 and S4. Uh, we also have an, an Ethernet bridge that will allow those without the latest smartphones to be able to connect through their desktop computer. Gotcha. And what's the, I'm not familiar with Bluetooth Smart Ready, so what is the range on that? How, how close do they have to be to, to the lights to control them? Yeah, so we can actually be up to 150 feet away in direct uh, line of sight. Um, what we're saying is 75 feet um, is probably where you're going to see the uh, devices working on a regular basis. Okay, so unless you're living in a 12-story house, you should be able to control it from outside, it sounds like. Definitely. So you can be running the show on your driveway, or you could be sitting on your couch uh, playing with uh, inside or outside lights. Okay, very cool. Now, I understand that these come in 10 or 20-foot strands. Um, it, it, you know... Even 30 feet can can disappear pretty quickly on a lot of houses. Um, so, are you guys planning to do longer lengths, or is it just a matter of stringing stringing those combinations together, or, or what are the plans on that front? So, what we wanted to do is create a really versatile strand that you could do anything you wanted with it. So, our we sell them in 10 and 20 foot sections that you can link together. Um, a 10 foot strand will let you do the front of your table at a tailgating event or the top of your mantelpiece for Christmas. So you can use it for multiple applications. Uh, but what we wanted to do is be able to allow those with the mansion or a, who wanted to trim out their whole roof in one strand to be able to connect together. Uh, so you can actually connect up to 17 strands for 350 feet of lighting together. And it can all be on one simultaneous control. Okay, very cool. So uh, I, I get the impression from what I read that you guys are kind of into the hacker ethic and, and, um, and that shows itself in um, some of your open source licensing. And, and then I also understand that you can actually um, print your own bulb covers if you happen to be into 3D printing. So can you tell us a little bit about those two things? Sure. So we wanted to make this product customizable. So you can do whatever you want with the lights. And uh, what we wanted to be able to do is allow people to be able to make their own sign displays like our DJ booth. Um, and then if they have a special bulb design that they want to be able to go ahead and print that themselves. So we have all those files that will be available on our website um, that the hacker maker community can go ahead and program whether they wanted to make a logo or if they wanted to make um, a happy birthday banner that scrolls across the front of your house. Uh, we wanted to be able to allow them to have that freedom. That's very cool. So the sky's the limit. Uh, it's basically just up to the user's imagination and, and uh, I guess whether or not they've got a 3D printer too, that would help. Definitely. So, very cool. <laughs> so uh, you guys have a, a little bit of an atypical, well, I, I guess these days not so atypical funding model, and you're trying to uh, raise, raise funds for this project through crowdsupply.com. Is that right? That's right. So I'm not familiar with crowdsupply.com, and, and I am familiar with Kickstarter. What made you guys decide to go with, with CrowdSupply versus Kickstarter? And, and tell me a little bit about the funding side of things. Yeah, so initially we were trying to figure out how do we bring this to market. We have completed this project a little bit late for the retail season, and we were going to miss the opportunity to get this product out to market this year. What we wanted to do is find sales channels that we could take holiday strand lighting and get it into the households of everybody this year 
who is up on technology and wants to have that freedom and control. So we figured out that crowdfunding was a way to not only help fund the project, but to get the project out for this year. Uh, we have went with crowdsupply.com to help us with the fulfillment and to also uh, give us a leg up on the marketing effort because uh, as Regatta, we're a whole bunch of engineers that like to design cool things and solve problems in creative ways. And uh, we're helping, getting help from crowdsupply.com and crowdfunding in general for the marketing effort. Okay. And so they're, they're not only helping you with the funding side of things, but they'll also handle fulfillment for you? Yeah, that's one of the great things about CrowdSupply is they take away the fulfillment and distribution aspect. So, so you guys aren't going from engineers to box stuffers uh, when you get a million orders of these things, right? Uh, so we've done a little bit of that before, and we realize we're better engineers than box stuffers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I can understand that. So, um, so your goal for for the crowd supply project is one hundred and fifty nine thousand twenty five dollars, uh, and I just want to let you know if you guys get to like the one fifty nine point and you're short the twenty five bucks, I will pony it up for you. So just we appreciate just, that. Just give me a call if you're short. All right. <laughs> So, um, you, do we have time for a little demo? Can you give me a, a little rundown on, on maybe some different light combinations and, and uh, so we can see the lights in action behind you? Yeah, sure. And I'm going to separate it between the DJ booth and then the light strand. So, I'm actually going to turn the DJ booth to a solid color for a second here. Okay. And you want to show what you're doing this on? You don't have to hold it up the whole time, otherwise you'll okay. you know get a strained neck. but. So I've got an iPad here, and okay. it's got the devices that we're connected to. So I have three strands. Uh, strand one is the holiday light strand that you can see behind me, and two and three are actually the DJ panels that we've made behind us. Okay. So I'm going to connect to the DJ panels, and they'll pop up on the connected devices. And I've actually got a color wheel that I can select whatever color that I want. So in the background, you can see the DJ panels changing from blue to green to red. Very cool. And I'm going to leave it at a light pink so that my other lights show up. So I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to disconnect from the DJ booth. And I'm going to connect up to the holiday light strand. And I'm going to show you guys some of the custom ability with the different effects that we can do. Nice. So uh, a couple of days ago, we had 4th of July. So we had 4th of July lights going on with a red, white, and blue pattern. And right now it's solid color. And I can actually get this to do effects where the lights behind us will move. Where I have control over the speed of the lights and how fast, how slow they go, and then the direction. So right now you got the red moving one way. So watch the red, and we're going to flip the way the red moves. And then we can also control brightness. So whether you're inside or outside, you can have the lights to this to the brightness that you want. Um, and then you got real time control over the color. So if we wanted to change from uh, red, white, and blue to Mardi Gras. I'm glad you know the Mardi Gras colors because I, I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to be an entertainer for a circus, so I've been at a lot of events. Wow. So okay, we've got to do a different interview on that one. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> uh, so we've got that. We've got um, some different effects that you can do. So we have 10 effects built in. I'll show you a random twinkle on the lights behind me where the lights will just flash on and off every uh, five seconds. Um, just a random light will appear. Okay. Then I've got, I'll show you that one when we get everything back up. So um, a couple more of the effects here on the lights. We've got this one called Stack, and I'm not sure how much of their screen you can see, but yeah. in the background you can see that the lights are actually going to go around the whole strand, and then they're going to stack up on top of each other. Okay. Uh, so when you hook up 340 feet of lighting, which is 510 lights on the front of your house, uh, it'll slowly fill up the front of your house with the lights. So it's it's uh, it's almost like the uh, the stadium wave effect. Uh. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to hook up to all of them, and I'm going to show you some of our really cool effects. And this one's actually called the wave. So this will snake behind us on the DJ booth and also on top of the strand, where it goes from one end to the other. The way we have our DJ booth set up is in a 6x10 grid that we made out of uh, 1x2s, and we have butcher paper on the top. And okay. inside of each block, we have a light. Um, and it's a really cool setup that uh, you can check out some of the photos of the DJ setup that we have on lumenplay.com. Nice.
if you take this one a little bit further, it just makes complete windows on the DJ setup that we have here. Then I want to show you guys the music feature. Well, you can pick any color you want, maybe. Oh, got to keep my hand in the right spot. <laughs> so you can pick any color that you want on the lights, and we're going to pick a deep purple or a blue for our music application. And if you can see in the background, yeah. the lights are actually pulsing. That's very cool. So, so basically, a lot of folks are going to be competing with that guy in Idaho for uh, cool displays this holiday season, huh? You got it. And one of the really cool things is even I can do this as a uh, – I'm the marketing guy here. Yeah. And I told the guys that I need to be able to pull this out of the box and I need to be able to download an app and it to work. And uh, so we're allowing anybody who – has the ability to control control a device with their smartphone to compete with their neighbors to have the best lighting display. You don't have to spend months anymore. You get them out of the box, you put them on your tree or the front of your house, download the app, and you're ready to impress your neighbors. That's awesome. So, so tell us tell us about price points. So, my understanding is this starts at about a little under sixty on CrowdSupply.com. Is that right? Yeah. So the ten foot section will start at fifty nine dollars. And the 20 foot section starts at $89. And that gives you a starter strand with that Bluetooth low energy piece that I talked to you about earlier. Um, and then additionally, if you want to do the front of your house, the front of your house is typically between 50 and 80 feet, depending on your house. And uh, additional 20 foot strands are $69 because we were able to remove that Bluetooth low energy piece. Uh, to be able to make it more affordable. Okay. All right. Awesome. So uh, uh, funding ends August 15th. So um, so for all you watching this, uh, head on over to crowdsupply.com. I think they can also get there through lumenplay.com. Is that right, Chris? That's correct. And uh, so, you know, you've got all kinds of combinations to choose from there. So if you want to get started, you can do a single strand or you've got kits for multiple strands if you want to deck out the whole house, right? Definitely. And then the other cool thing is, like our DJ booths, it doesn't have to be the form factor of a strand of lights. You right. can turn that strand into something totally unique, whether you're uh, doing something for your man cave or you're doing maybe a kegerator and you want to decorate the outside of that, or you're doing something where you want a wall display like the DJ booth behind us. Yeah, it'll be cool to see what what all your users will wind up coming up with. You guys should uh, have a section of your site dedicated to you know crazy user projects uh, at some point. Definitely. We think we're even going to have some competitions to come out to see who has the best lighting display for different applications. That sounds great. Well, Chris, I really appreciate your time. And uh, everyone, head on over to lumenplay.com or crowdsupply.com and uh, get uh, get your lighting. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Thanks all for right. having us on today. All right. My pleasure. Talk with you soon. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.